Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Drew Dean's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic video. This one is my top five favorite storylines of the Walking Dead series. <laughs> Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead. You guys requested this one heavily yesterday, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and do it, which is now doing the opposite of what we did yesterday. Yesterday we ranked our top five worst storylines of The Walking Dead show, and now we are going to rank our top five favorite storylines of The Walking Dead show. So definitely wanted to go ahead and do this one. This is definitely one that I wanted to, uh, to do because I love The Walking Dead. I think The Walking Dead has amazing storylines. Uh, it has a lot of really great points in the show where, you know, there's a lot of different villain groups or different uh, just, you know, obstacles for our characters to face. And I picked five that I would say are my favorites. So without further ado, let's get right into the list. Number five, we are starting things off with Terminus. So Terminus is a super short but sweet arc, probably the shortest, best villain arc I've ever seen. Uh, it's so quick, but it's so impactful. Uh, literally, from Season 4, Episode 16, to the battle in four, uh, 501, um, them getting hunted, and the cap off with four walls and a roof. I mean, they were some of the scariest villains we have ever seen in the Walking Dead show. And I feel like, you know, them being cannibals just kind of adds to the creepiness. But they were a really intimidating group. And in my opinion, they are the reason why I still say to this day, Season 5 has the best first three episodes of a season out of any season, you know? Um... And hell, it's probably some. It's par probably part of the reason why I don't like the hospital arc is because it doesn't even touch this. You know, uh, this is a incredible arc, and I love what they did with the Terminus group, and you know, kind of doing a bit of a rendition of the Hunters from the Walking Dead comic book series. Because in the comics, they were just kind of like these like cannibals, but they didn't really have like a home base or anything. In the show, they kind of like did this whole sanctuary idea, and then they had the big twist, and yeah, it was really really well done. Uh, number four is going to be the governor now i love the governor and the woodbury arc i do find it to be slightly overrated at times though i'm not gonna lie um I feel like there are some slow elements to it, and there are a few, you know, things about it that maybe could have been fixed, but I think for the most part, they were a really, really good threat, and they were our first major human threat of the Walking Dead show, uh, because Shane, you know, came from within, right? Uh, but the Governor's Group was the first Outsiders crew that we ever saw coming after our characters, and I thought it worked really well. You know, we had Michonne and her introduction to the story, and in terms of, you know, kind of like figuring out who the Governor is and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool, because he kind of puts on this, like, facade there for a while and uh, I really really enjoy what they did with Merle. Merle was a really awesome like lieutenant type character. Uh, they bring him back into the story and uh, I think David Morrissey really killed it and you know the Governor arc and the Woodbury arc I mean it was good obviously it, it was you know one of them arcs that I feel like is always memorable in the show but I do think that it was outdone by these next three. Number three is going to be Shane and the farm storyline. So, uh, I am about to get so much hate for this because I know so many people do not like the farm storyline. They do not like the Shane arc. They do not like any of that. They find it boring. They find it just incredibly just terrible. You know, I've, I've seen it all. I've heard all of the stories. I've heard all the, you know, crazy shit that people say about the storyline. I will never understand why people hate the Shane arc. I mean, it is literally one of the most intriguing and incredible pieces of writing I've ever seen in a TV show. What they do with Shane and how John Bernthal brings that villain character to life and his back and forth with Rick and the drama on the farm and everything in between, it was such an incredible arc and honestly... A very, very underrated arc of the show. I love Shane's character. He's still one of my favorite characters of the show up to this point. And it's because of how incredible he was. You know, threatening Dale, you know, having those scenes with Rick, the fight in 18 Miles Out, the death episode, which was so beautifully shot. I would be out of my mind not to put that in the top three. Uh, number two is going to be the Whispers. Now, the Whispers, in my opinion, are the best group of villains we have ever seen in the Walking Dead show, and in particular, mainly because of how animalistic they are, and how original they are, and how creepy they are. We've never seen something like this before, and the Whispers translated from the comics to the show was even better than it already was in the comics. Um... 
beta alpha that whole kind of ordeal they're they're the way they live uh the heads on pikes all the stuff the whisper war beta and the scene where beta like comes out of the ground and like comes into alexandria they even have a spy with dante like kind of going in there and getting information and the final battle with beta in a certain doom and the zombie herd and all that stuff it has to be my favorite time for a group of villains in the walking dead show uh in my opinion they never topped it and uh rightfully so because I feel like it would be hard to do, but it was such a creative idea, and it was such an amazing concept, and I thought it turned out really, really amazing. And then my all-time favorite storyline of The Walking Dead show, all the way up to this point, is going to be No Way Out and the Zombie Herd. Now, um... This was a phenomenal storyline. I mean, it's why we watch The Walking Dead, right? It's a zombie show. It's, you know, it's a zombie series. And I thought that they did this so well. They actually made the zombies scary. They, you know, overran Alexandria. They almost killed Glenn, you know, in the dumpster and that whole kind of ordeal. And, you know, when they're locked up in their houses and you've got, like, Daryl and everybody else with their, you know, the rocket launcher and stuff and they save their lives and they take back their home and you've got Carl that gets shot in the eye. And, I mean, it's just such a insane storyline. It's such an insane episode in general, too, uh, season six, episode nine. And it's my favorite arc of the show because they made the zombies scary. You know, it's not your typical human threat. They actually found a way to make the zombies intimidating, and they were the main villains, I would say, for most of that season, and that is so incredible. So, definitely my favorite storyline of The Walking Dead show, and it's also why season six is my favorite season. So, um... Of course, let me know in the comment section below, what are your favorite storylines of The Walking Dead show? What are your favorite storylines throughout the whole series of The Walking Dead? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. So, of course, guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories. Walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.